All right, welcome, uh, Uncle Sam FM, and I know it has been a long time. Uh, I have been uh, away, been a couple things. First of all, really, you know, just busy, sort of with life. Um, and of course, coach, I coach soccer in real life, and so that took up a lot of my time. Was pretty busy with that, but I also got under the hood with the FM editor, and um, I made some changes, did some updates. And I don't know, I guess I really wanted to play with those updates. So um, I, I've actually, what I actually did is I replayed the 2018 season that you watched in the first five videos. And um, I'm now getting ready to start the 2019 season. And obviously I'm with a, a different team. And that's partly because the Emerald Force, <clears throat> with this new update, um, in real life, the Emerald Force... Um, they folded, um, sort of. The club still kind of exists. They have a youth academy. They actually have a school, um, the Emerald Emerald Sport. Uh, I think it's just Emerald Academy, Emerald Youth Academy. And they they have different sports. Of course, soccer is, is big. And um, <clears throat> they, but the the NPSL team folded, so they no longer uh, play. And 2018 was their last year. And so I put that into the update into my changes. Um, I also made a couple of other, other changes. So I guess for the first part of the video, I'll show you what I've added to the um, to my database file, so you can sort of see what I have going on. I do have I added the Generation Adidas Cup, which to sort of set up what that is in real life, the uh, MLS academies are looking to branch out. They're looking to play other stronger competition they feel like playing against the smaller youth academies are is not it's not enough uh they're not playing enough well strong enough competition and so what they've decided to do is they well <clears throat> the generation adidas cup itself has existed for a long time they've played i think like 10 years uh, i do have the past winners put in yeah so a little over 10 years they've been playing the ga cup a few years ago, they decided to start bringing in international competition. So they started bringing in youth academies from from Argentina. They bring some in from Germany. They have, I know this year, West Ham sent a under-18 squad. So I really kind of wanted to get this put into my game. And I, I always have, but it, it's kind of a complicated format. So it took me a little while to get it put in right. But I, 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 did, I have it in just as it is in real life. And so what we'll do, I'll real quick show you last season, the first season, how it was played. And the way it works is the academies play a qualifying round where they're, they're split up regionally. So Group A is the Northeastern teams, Group B, the South teams. Group C, you kind of have your Midwestern teams. And then Group D is the West Coast academies. And so <clears throat> the, way the, the way the competition works, I think the top two teams from each group advance to what's called the Champions Round. And then the second two or three teams advance to the Premier Round. And so this is the Premier Round. This is not the, um, the major, whatever, the highest level. Uh, it's sort of a mid-range competition but you still have some foreign teams so you look at group a um last, and this was last season minnesota united the red bulls and then austin which technically doesn't exist yet but i have them in there they played with t1 under 20s and then mount pleasant fc from jamaica they're under 18s and i said i'll say this too <clears throat> some of them they they bring in the u20s at least in, in my in football manager but i have the rules set up to where they can't play anyone who's over 18 so even though it says Tijuana under 20s it's really they're under 18s the reason I had to do it that way is because FM won't let you create under 18 teams for a, a club that already has two reserve or youthless teams so I kind of had to work with what I could with with FM and so um, so yeah even though it says under 20s it's actually under 18 so this is the premier the, the champions division, these are the elite, the best of the best. These are the teams, the MLS academies that won their qualifying group. And then some of the, the stronger clubs from around the world, obviously you see West Ham and Valencia there. You also have Leon. Um, you have Club America from Mexico, Flamingo from Brazil. So this is your top level teams. And 
from there, both Premier and Champions do have a uh, knockout phase. Um, there you see it's a, the Premier Division, it's a simply a semifinal and a final. The Champions Division, there's a quarterfinal, so they take the top two from each group and then semifinal and final. And again, all this is based on real life. Uh, it took me a while to set it up to where it would work right, but I did, and it is realistic. Um, so I kind of wanted to play with that. I also, uh, there was a recent announcement, and I'll let's see if I can find them in the, um, Omaha has added a team to the USL League One, and I wanted to go ahead and get them put in, and I did, and this is Omaha. <clears throat> in uh, where you download my file, there is a link for uh, the the uh, the gentleman, the person who came up with the the branding that you see, the logo and the basic design of the kits. Um, so I did kind of because the, the real Omaha Club is not branded yet; they've not announced any of that. But I don't want to just put a blank team in the database, so I use a really cool concept for an Omaha FC. And so, so I put them in. They joined the USL League One in 2020. And so, uh, another big change that I made: I work with a, uh, a SI Games community member named Yellow Sweaty Gorilla, I think. And I put in the college division for Canada. And this is the what's called U Sports. It's the top level uh, Canadian soccer division. And it's split up into four conferences. I have it set up just like the the NCAA for the U.S. database, and they all function as they do in real life, um, with a championship tournament. And the part of the reason I did this is because I wanted, um, first of all, to expand the Canadian experience. Right? I that's uh, they're obviously pretty well underrepresented, and you're about to see them start to, I believe, <clears throat> uh, grow. Um, now that they have the Canadian Premier League. And the Canadian Premier League does have a draft similar to the MLS Super Draft, and they drafted from U Sports. So I kind of wanted to have it, partly it was I wanted to test because in the editor, it has a place where you can add the draft. And so I put that in. Unfortunately, I guess the game, for whatever reason, it never happens. It puts it in the calendar, but you never actually, it does, the, the draft just doesn't work yet, that function. So hopefully in a future version they will, and if they don't add CPL to a future version of FM, we can do it and also add the draft later. But um, so I added those. Those are a couple of cool little additions that made it into the um, most recent version of my file, and I sort of wanted to to play with those and. So that's why I did what I'm about to show you. I I did re redo the game, redid the first season and kind of it was pretty obvious that I well I was able to learn a lot from my first season playing with NPSL because in this version of the database I've never played with an N NPSL team I have in the past but a lot of what I did to build my squad in the past didn't work this time so uh, I'll I'll just kind of briefly show you how la that last season went and well it was pretty good I built a pretty unstoppable squad uh, at least in the in my conference as you can tell went through the whole regular season and only allowed surrendered one goal to Atlanta SC in the regular season went into the playoffs won the southeast uh, re uh, conference playoffs you know beat Atlanta FC beat New Orleans beat Atlanta FC then I got to the South Region semifinal and scored, I think, like a stoppage time, if I recall. No, it was close to stoppage time. So I got a penalty in the 83rd minute. I dominated the match, but didn't get the winner until late. So I advanced to the final and got sort of bossed by Miami FC, which that was always going to be a tough challenge because Miami FC is, is they, the, only, the only way to make my database work. They start... The file with as a professional team playing in a semi-pro league so of course they're going to easily uh, win so i actually was kind of stoked that i, I kept the result to 2-0 um so but then obviously emerald force folded <clears throat> so i had to move on and i took over brazos valley which is a usl league two team they're an affiliate of the houston dynamo and so that's my new challenge i'll kind of give you a brief look at the 
how things went in, in, in the U.S. last year. So in Major League Soccer, it was won by Atlanta United, defeated LAFC in, it was actually in L.A., but they, and that's true to real life. That's how it worked in real life. So sometimes the games mimic reality. And the uh, Open Cup, Atlanta United almost did the double, but they lost to Minnesota United in the final. The All-Star game, Newcastle got a win over the MLS All-Stars. I believe it was 1-0. to zero. Uh, The USL Championship, <clears throat> the uh, Sacramento Republic defeated Louisville to win that. Um, let's see, League One has not played yet. The NPSL Pro has not played yet. But they did do the Founders Cup, so we'll show the result of that. Again, this happened in real life. Oh, wait, no, no, that, that's right. This, this is the first year. 2019 is the year of the Founders Cup. NCAA uh, national champion was UCLA. Not a big, that's not that crazy of a result. They are, they do have a very strong program. They've won it several times in the past. Um, the big surprise, I guess, would be Stony Brook making. Again, this file's not perfect, but you can't make one that's perfect. Uh, that perfectly reflects results. Academy champions, LAFC, uh, won the Academy Championship last year. Let's see, in the final, they defeated the Whitecaps Academy. The USL, we won't look at all the different divisions for USL League Two, but Tucson won USL League Two championship, and they move on to USL League One this season. So in a way, they kind of earned promotion. <clears throat> Uh, defeated Dayton Dutch Lions in the League Two final. The NPSL ch overall champions were the Cosmos. They defeated uh, Miami FC. As, no, no, the Rochester Lancers. And so that was what happened last year. So let's look at my squad this year. I was able to take what, uh, what, how I built my Emerald Four squad and really kind of use those what, those techniques to build this team. Um, which is, as you can tell, comparatively pretty strong. They, I've got a pretty, pretty good first 18. And then I've got some guys who I can slot in who will be okay. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this Dominic Birch. I found him late. I added him. He was my, actually, I think he was probably my last signing. Um, he's 18, but he's got, his determination is low. That's the big struggle I've had really with building my squad at this level is, Anybody with a decent determination rating has been snatched up. But <clears throat> for this level, eight in passing, or I'm sorry, eight in decisions, seven work rate, um, technique 13, finishing 10. These are pretty good rates. So I feel like he's he's going to, well, I know you see these and you think, what's, so what's to be excited about? <laughs> when you've perused through as many players for this level as, as I have, you would know that these are actually pretty phenomenal for 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 uh, USL League Two quality. So, uh, and he's young. I don't plan on being here very long, but if I get stuck here, I want to make sure that I've got a squad that I can kind of work with for a few seasons, and just in case, like if, if this is going to be a three year job, uh, you know, I better make sure that in year three this is a winning team. And I feel like if I can keep these guys, then we probably will be. I doubt I'll be able to, to be honest with you, at least if we're successful. Our opponent today is Houston FC. They are. Um, Obviously, another well, USL League Two team. They're not very good, um, and their results from last season showed that as well. So I really kind of anticipate this to be sort of an easy win. So let's dive into it, shall we? Let's see, Birch, I just have signed him, so he's not full uh, full fitness yet. I am um, another thing that I've had issues with. I may have to look at my database see if there's not some way I can sort this out. But I really had trouble scheduling friendlies. Like I couldn't even schedule friendlies against other USL League Two teams. What I ended up having to do was play. I played Austin like twice because they're an MLS expansion team that technically doesn't even exist yet. But they're the only team because they have a wide open calendar that I could actually play against the um, I also had to play some other MLS teams 
So it was not ideal. My pre my preseason schedule was all professional teams, and I don't think I managed. To, I don't. I didn't get a result out of any of them. They all just beat me to death. I think the one I lost to I lost to Austin seven to zero. Oh, shot on goal by Birch. His first shot saved by the keep. Good shot though. Put it on target. I might, um, if I get a goal or two, which I hope to early, I might switch to, I'm working on another adaptation of my 343. Oh, and Birch, look at that. See, I told you, I told you guys that this guy, Birch, I found him late, right before the season, but I, he, I knew he was going to do something for me. All right, so we have a 1 0 lead. <clears throat> Yeah, so I have a, um, tactically, I've been playing around with my, you know, I, I, 4 3, three is, is, that's what I, what we run in real life. Ooh, free kick on target. Keeper makes a save. So, 4 3, three is, is how I play. Very, you know, it's, I'm not, I'm sure I'm like most everybody else, try to, you know, recreate the, um, Barcelona style, Pep Guardiola. But I also, I'm working right now on a, oh, and there's the second goal, so I am going to go ahead and switch to it. It's a 3 4 3. Where it's it's the shape, the defensive shape is is four three three. Well, I have my wing backs getting punching forward more, and then my halfback drops back, and my center backs split wide. It's kind of what I think Guardiola kind of did it, but I've well in his later time with Barcelona, I've never managed to get it to work with FM. So I'm gonna try and see if it won't can't get it to be effective I mean, so far so good it, it, it's it's definitely designed to be more of a tactic for a, when I'm playing against a team that's not very good but I'm stronger than it's also part of the hope my hope is to break down teams that bunker in and there we have a goal and a free kick but it's disallowed Stoneman was offside which I got this guy Stone Man halfly, well, partially at least because of his name. He's a center back named Stone Man. That's like the most ideal name you can have for a center back. Burke holds to Birch, shot blocked. And we got a counter. We didn't. Oh, we shut it down pretty quick. All right, so nine shots on target, or nine shots to one, five on target over half. That's kind of what I shoot for, and good 68% possession. Pretty much dominating like we expected. I'd like to be creating a little more with this. And one thing I do like to do when a team playing a 4 4 2 is play through the middle. I'm going to try and <clears throat> see if that helps because I outnumber them in the middle. Yeah, if I, finding players at this level is not easy. A lot of times you have to take what you can get. I <clears throat> think most ever most well, guys like um, a lot of you know bust the net. He's the big tactical genius or whatever. He uh, he talks about having club DNA. I think he might have actually got that from somebody else. Most of my guys I've had to kind of toss out my club DNA or I, I think I've got six attributes that sort of make up what I'm you know the core attributes I look for in players but um, I kind of have to pick and choose like if, if they if they make if they have oh well, that's not good so I better go back to my 433 maybe I need to off camera I need to put it where the keeper couldn't get to it Yeah, if they have so they have two or three of the attributes I look for, then I I usually end up having to just take it because they're that's they're not gonna I'm not gonna get much better than that. Um, USL League Two is it's a lower level and it does I do have six subs and I try and use all of them. 
help get appearances for guys so that they leave me alone later in the season. Don't get pissed off about their lack of appearances. I probably could pull Birch, but I'm going to leave him because I want him. I want him to get fit. I do I do rotate. I rotate the squad pretty heavily. Oh, this is not good. All right, let's Probably shouldn't pull Gaff, but I'm gonna. I know it's really by getting fresh legs on the field. <clears throat> Quisenberry, the shot off target. And this will be this will be a good win. This level is is results wise. In FM, yeah, well, and in real life too, it tends to be pretty volatile. I mean, um, so it's there's not many uh, consistent, consistently strong clubs. That's that's all in real life, but that even more exaggeratedly true in FM. And so you don't have to win every match at this level. Uh, in order to like it, my I, my big goal is hey if I win if I get all my points at home then I'm probably going to win the conference win whatever league I'm in that that's really kind of what it amounts to which is not true in in other leagues in the higher leagues uh you, well you know what in MLS it's pretty true because it tends to be balanced in MLS but you know if you go to the Premier League winning all your home matches is not going to be enough it's it's obviously a great start but you're gonna need to get a lot of points on the road also but in this level if you can you know win all your matches at home and then get a few scattered points away then you'll probably be all right and so a draw on the road wouldn't be devastating but I, I think I do need to watch this game off camera in, in full to see sort of what's going on right here it must be yeah see that's mm. so that's not good he did not play well towards the end so I gotta figure out what happened there might have been my subs I might have killed my team's momentum yeah this is not a good result But we'll diagnose it, figure out what happened. And again, you know, draw on the road, not the worst thing. I'm, I'm not, I don't like it. I, you know, we, we should have won this game. But good news, uh, our new signing, Birch, scored the first goal. Um, bad news, we pissed away a 2-0 halftime lead. So that's, that's not good. Um, I'm going to tell them they were unlucky but then maybe run them in practice so um yeah not a great result probably a boring watch too but that's um it does kind of set us up uh a ahfc did win so looking at the standings i'm in a tie for second with houston fc that's again not a great way to start the season very frustrated right now but i'm keeping my calm because i'm on camera um, off camera, I probably would have cursed a little bit. Next, oh, I probably should have waited for this. I have an Open Cup match at the Dayton Dutch Lions. Dayton qualified for the Open Cup through their performance in U League Two, as did I. Apparently, our club did last season as we won our won the Mid South. So, <clears throat> first round we go to Dayton, Dayton, Ohio, play against the Dutch Lions to hopefully advance. I, uh, cup runs are good. They help the status of the club, so I would really like to win this match, but my focus has to be on the league. If I win the league, then I, I get to play in the Open Cup again next year. Um, right now, it's about 
getting as strong of league results as I can. So, um, so looking ahead, I'll probably live com again. Um, kind of want to do the one of these night these rematches against Houston FC, just so that I can feel better uh, and whatever run them off the pitch. But let's wait. It'll probably be. Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make a definite definite statement on when my the next live com will be. But tune in next time as we carry on. I'm on the 2019 season. I have moved on from Emerald Force after winning the South Region Southeast Conference. I am now with Brazos Valley FC, which is a Houston Dynamo affiliate, and they are playing in USL League Two in the Mid South. I've built a pretty strong squad, but we'll see how we gel together by the end of the season. So this is Uncle Sam signing off. See you next time.